Steady. Steady. And there we go. Lovely. Oh yes, that would do nicely. <laughs> okay, so yep, the Ferguson tractor is on display. It can stay there until we need it again. Might not be too long until we do need it, but it's not exactly hard to get it up there. So, let's continue with the work today. We need to harvest the canola field, but it's not quite ready. It can't be far away. I think the two fields that we planted yesterday have started to grow. And yeah, the grass, just around the corner here, is looking very good. Look at that. Because that was just soil in all the previous episodes. Uh, so we, we managed to get £25,000 from the silage that we sold yesterday. That's really good. We also had the placeables, the income from that, we've rested overnight. And we now have £68,000, which is clearly impressive. If we sell this, we might be able to afford the John Deere. Well, in fact, if we sell the Fiat as well, we would definitely be able to afford the John Deere. So yeah, we've got a few things to uh, to get rid of, but uh, I, I do need to be careful with what we do get rid of. But today, since we are still waiting for that canola, I think it would be a good idea to sell the silage. I think we'll get rid of it all. It's unlikely that we're going to have any cows before we make any more silage. So, yeah, it's a tough one. I think if we take the fit, the other fits with the, uh, the old loading wagon, we'll get them both sold. We'll buy the new John Deere. And also a trailer. We could also do with the conveyor belt. We already have the first stage of the conveyor belt, uh, but not the second stage. Look at that, it's only 0.97% full. <laughs> you can't even see any seed bags. That is interesting. Yeah, so I know that we're sort of doing a like for like replacement. The John Deere is going to be a very similar horsepower to this tractor. However, uh, the reason why is because it's actually not this tractor that will be replaced when we get the bigger tractor. It would be probably either the Massey Ferguson or the other fear. Probably the Massey Ferguson actually. Because uh, there's only so much, so many jobs that we'd actually need a very small tractor for. And they're going to start to die out, those type of jobs. So yeah, I, I love the Massey Ferguson so much. And it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But eventually, it will be replaced. Having said that, because I do love it so much, it might stay forever. It might be the other Fiat that is replaced. But for now, yeah, we're just going to get this other John Deere. And we'll get the conveyor. So, what do you think we're going to get for this? It's very hard to guess, actually. I don't even know what we paid for it. Oh, and of course, we have these still here. Need to return them. It might be easier if I start opening the other door. That one there. Right, so for the first time ever, it doesn't matter if they want to buy the tractor first. Usually they always go for the tractor. Uh, once again, they do. Uh, so uh, it will repair it, £107. 22998 Seems okay. And uh, it's only 481 That's not much. Well, I can't pay much for it in the first place. So we have £92,000 and loads of potential income from the silage. So we can go a little bit crazy here when it comes to spending money. But I need to make sure we have enough money for a used conveyor. Uh, so we'll buy that first. That would be a, a wise thing to do. I don't think there's anything else we need to buy today, so we can just wait until we get paid again in the next episode. So £7,600 off. It's still 30400 which leaves us with 61000 That isn't actually enough for the John Deere. Actually we do, but we don't have enough to go for the spec that I'm looking for. At the very least, we want to have the biggest engine. Yes, at the very least. That's chip tuning to 185 horsepower. And it would also be good to have a front three-point linkage, because that is just so useful. So yeah, we're gonna have to uh, We're gonna have to just to wait until we have 76,000, but that shouldn't be too tricky. Because we'll have the canola and tons and tons of silage. Uh, but yeah, we have the conveyor, so we'll get that back to the farm. We'll get the silage sold. Uh, we can do a load of shuttle runs with the, uh, the smaller trailers. And then hopefully when that is done, we'll be able to do the harvesting, and then we'll come back to this. Okay, I thought it would be good to get this back, <laughs> uh, because we have the big one point something ton weight on the front. 
It shouldn't be too top heavy. And we have a lot of speed. 37 miles per hour. Go on little gator, you can do it. We'll come back with Matty Ferguson to pick up the conveyor. Yeah, it's really stable. Look at that. It's not even attempting to flip over. So that can go over here. Well, I suppose over here. Ah, oh, no, I've run out of water again. There's always something else to do, which is good. But yeah, we need to get that going. We can do it with the Massey Ferguson though. It's not an issue. We'll do it on our way to the store. Right, so there we go, we've got the system underway. I think it's probably not much faster doing with the conveyor belt, but the thing is you can leave another one under there when you're doing something else, which can be very useful. Uh, and, yeah, how much is actually in that pit? Because it doesn't seem as full as it looks. <laughs> it looks really full, yeah, 95,000 litres. Which is good for a farm of this size, but it's not, it's not amazing. But we'll certainly take the money from that. That would be great. Okay, so we'll get this one set up as well on a trailer, the blue trailer, naturally. And we will take the weight off just over here. And as I do so, I just want to very, very quickly mention something. Uh, my Chellington Farm series. Really, really loving that map. Absolutely fantastic. I think only one episode has gone out so far. Should have done. Unless I've messed up my schedule. But yes, uh, Seasons. Many, many people requested Seasons. I ran a vote on it. I think it was like 20% who didn't want Seasons, 80% who did. And I want Seasons too. I just want to very quickly say the reason why I just decided when I was setting the game up not to put Seasons on. And actually it's a bit of a silly reason. Uh, it's only because I heard from Chainsaw100 that he had an issue with one of the multi-fruit crops not actually growing. He put it in at the right time and um, yeah it was all the right soil temperatures yet it never actually germinated so I don't know, I don't know if it was an issue with seasons or whatever but um, I thought it would be easier just to to go without because I, I have done a few seasons let's plays now and I'm also doing some other role play seasons and it was okay uh, I mean I, I don't, I, I love seasons but I also quite like the game without as well so I appreciate it. it will make it look so much better. Seasons is absolutely amazing at uh, making the game look stunning. So I think we will put it on, but if we do encounter that issue then we'll just have to uh, accept it. Okay, so we'll spin round. Should probably get that one going, that was the idea. As I said, a bit of a shuttle system. But that is going to have to keep moving back. I, I think these conveyor belts are quite good at having a range so they can pick up from areas where they're nowhere near. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because I'm really looking forward to doing the multi fruit. There we go. Tomorrow we're going to be making an absolute fortune. Right, so, oh look, look my canola is ready. But I do need to make a few adjustments before I can harvest, because we still have this header. 
Uh, I think we can either replace the header or we can go with the mod which allows you to have um, an adjustable header height so it doesn't hit the ground. Let's just see how much of this we can sell. I think we'll be able to get it all done. That is staggering. It's already almost empty. It just shows how quickly you can move it if you want to. Uh, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just pull this forward. We'll put that one underneath. And we'll just move that fermented silage forwards. Because it's obviously out of range. Uh, but yeah, that, that did not take many loads at all. We need to do more silage very soon. Let's just spin round. No, don't pick that one up. No. Yeah, it's a good thing of not having good thing about not having a cab, you can just go underneath very low things. Yeah, we want the fermented silage, not the chaff. Whoa, did it convert it? Oh no, I don't think you can drop fermented silage back into a pit. Okay, that's fine, we, can just, we don't need to. What am I doing? I can just go and put it into the processor. Right, um, so, don't know if there's anything actually in the other trailer. Hopefully not. Ah, oh, there is, okay. Right, well, uh, it's, it's one of those moments where you're not actually thinking straight. What is the reason for putting it in the conveyor belt? So that you can take it to the BGA. The bucket is going to the same place. Hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fascinating to see how much money we actually make from this. Bearing in mind we've already made £25,000. We sold a fair amount in the previous episode, but if only we had this conveyor belt system going then. Only 8% in here. Still, it all helps. The Ferguson tractor, I was going to put it on this rock here, but it's sort of um, facing the wrong way. But we could put it on there. There won't be much to sell here. Good. And it's already all processed. Right, so we do have the canola field to work in, but I'm actually thinking of clearing that wood because the wood was actually on my to-do list, it was it was higher up the to-do list. It's a bit of a mess, we should get it done. Uh, but that is looking fantastic for the next episode. Also, look at these sunflowers. They look great, and they're also fully fertilized, so there's nothing else to do there. Just leave them to it. We'll go and see the corn, and then we'll get the flatbed trailer, and we can start putting the wood onto there. Because, yeah, it would just be good to uh, to make this farm a bit tidier. I was actually tidying up on the sheds as well, which I'll have to show you. Ah, I can't get through because of all the pigs. Come on, pigs, make way, make way. Please, pigs. Pigs. They're not going to move. Yes, it's moving. It's moving, yes. Lovely. I could have walked. So yeah, this, this cornfield is looking lovely. We might expand it into here, but I do like these trees. I like to keep the areas looking nicer as well. Uh, not too sure if this is going to grow. I use the paintbrush tool, landscaping tool, to put the grass back in. Okay, so yeah, let's go and get that other trailer. Let's clear the wood. And actually, that is going to be faster money than the canola anyway. 
so we should be able to buy the John Deere today. Maybe even just selling a very small proportion of the wood. I'm just wondering what the best tractor is. I think this one is fine. We'll use this tractor. Got a few pieces of wood dotted around. But the bulk load of it is just here on the right hand side. Uh, but we also need to take down the tree out of the end because it's a bit in the way. We'll put the AS trailer here. Or the Marston trailer. Uh, and yes, that, that is the one we're looking for. We've got the pallet fork on it, but we'll take that off. I have one pallet fork between two tractors. I think that's adequate, really. It's not like I can drive two tractors at the same time. We do also have a bell spike. Oh, the other thing is I'm looking to get a telehandler eventually on this series, and I think probably the Merlot. Because I know many people have mentioned getting the Merlot on Chellington, but I think a JCB would be uh, my preferred brand on there. But yeah, that Merlot for here could be very useful. don't know if you can hear the rain. It's raining very heavily here. In fact, it always rains very heavily here. Having said that, in the summer, it barely rains. I live in a part of the UK where it never stops raining in the winter. And then, like, we have so many droughts in the summer. It's really frustrating. If you could just spread that rain out over the year, it would be so much better. Anyway, yep, let's get this onto here. Nice and quickly, because we've got to also take them off again and put them into the chipper. It's a bigger log than I was expecting. Right, come on John Deere, we're working towards you. We are buying it today. Uh, I've been putting it off enough and I'm desperate to get it. I just crashed the game. I think I overloaded the chip or something. Uh, yeah, I couldn't pick anything up, couldn't do anything. But now it seems to be working okay-ish. Well, it seems quite tricky to lift this, but at least I can lift it. Yeah, I think uh, there's a piece of wood just here. This log is completely glitched into there. You can't do anything with it. You can't interact with it. So hopefully it's not going to be there for the rest of the series, but <laughs> if it is, then... Um, Yes, we can remember this episode, the moment when it happened. Maybe next time I shut my PC down and restart, it will have fixed itself. Seems weird. Interesting how things like that happen. But that's just the way it is. So we are almost... In fact, we do have enough money. We have enough money to buy the John Deere. So we will do. Then we'll come back. We'll cut that tree down. We'll process the rest of it. And then I think we'll be able to call it a day. But I'm so excited to see the new John Deere. Okay, it's looking good. One more piece here. Yeah, this trailer's been great. It would have been very tricky to do all of this without it. Because originally I was using the car trailer. 
which was fine, but uh, yeah, it, just not really big enough. Okay, there we go. So, into medium tractor. Seems unusual to be doing that. Well, I suppose the Fiat was a medium tractor. Front hydraulic, uh, we want to be used. Going to have to spend some money on fixing it up. 6910S chip tuning. Uh, front front fenders, yes. Uh, Starfighter, no. Front loader, not at the moment, but maybe eventually. And, yeah. Um, extra lights. £500. Depends how bright they are, I suppose. We'll go for them. And, yeah, we should probably have beacons. It, 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 I think it just looks good, even though there's nobody around. Actually, don't no, forget that. It's 76,000. We have 75,254. We need to find another log. Or oh, if you had sold, we might have had enough money. I can't believe it. It's like an entire massive log there. Maybe this will do it. It's interesting that another log can't push that log either. Sometimes you can move objects with other objects. Uh, it's not going to be enough. No. Or maybe. Maybe. It's going to be close. Ah, oh, brilliant. £76,000. So no beacons yet and no extra lights. But that is still really good. We have £149, but we mustn't forget that tomorrow we're going to have loads. Yeah, I don't think £149 is going to be enough to fix it, but that's fine. We'll fix it tomorrow. But here it is. Just look at the detail. Don't want to crash it immediately. Oh yes, this is good. This is a very, very nice tractor. Yeah, we don't really need the front extra lights. Also, I don't think this tractor is too loud, so it should blend in quite well with the other tractors. Hazard warning lights. They seem to work. Yep. Oh yeah, this is good. This is going to be our main tractor. I don't know whether or not we should put a front loader on it. At the moment I'm going to say no, because I, I think we're okay with two. We don't really need three. I do also have interactive control. Uh, so there's various things that we can interact with. Probably not the best time to be doing this when we're driving. <laughs> but yep, that's very nice. Simple IC. Yeah, I'm going everywhere. Not too sure if there's anything externally. But there might be. Anyway, yes, let's, uh, let's, let's attach this to the trailer. We do have one more tree to bring back to the farm. But next time, the next episode will be the first big episode whilst using this tractor. It's going to be good. Okay, well, it wouldn't be our own tractor if it hadn't crossed the bridge. All of our tractors must cross the bridge. There we go. And it looks even better on the bridge. <laughs> no, I'm just being silly. Okay, so this is the tree we're going for. We will continue the track over there. Uh, let me just get this right. Yeah, because I've got the third-person mod. I have to go into third-person view before I can crouch. There we go. Some good wood in that. There's not too many branches until we get to the top. Brilliant. Okay. Let's load it up. We'll get these chipped today so we have a bit of money. And actually that might fund, in fact it will fund the uh, repair. It looks like the placer boards have already done that. We have over a thousand pounds again. Good placer boards, very good. Need to bring the trader a bit closer. Yeah, so next episode, full on harvesting. That's what we're going to be doing. We'll have the canola, and the, well, actually, we'll have the baling as well. This tractor can do the baling.
final stick. Seems to be quite a gathering in here. Don't know if we've. Yeah, I think only one has glitched. They're all just waiting to go in. Uh, good. Right, so yeah, that is just weird. It's just stopped right in the middle of the chipper. So yeah, then we go into um, landscaping. We do need to do some stump grinding, so in the next episode, if we have time, we'll do the stump grinding. Need to find the correct texture. I think I might have gone past it. Is it that one? Yep, there we go. So yeah, I've been wanting to put that track straight across. That should just feel more natural when going up here. And that tree, well, that stump will have to be taken out with the others just over here. So lots to do. Anyway, we'll finish off by putting that tractor into the workshop. We'll see what it costs. And actually, we have £4,467 again. So we can add the beacons and, if we wanted to, the extra lights. But I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass on the extra lights. We don't really need to have them. It's a different view, having a John Deere out the window. Uh, so, yes, repair, 667. Not sell. <laughs> Almost sold it again. Uh, yeah, we want to go for... Twin beacons, a thousand pounds. Hang on, it says standard for configuration. That's right, yeah, we just have to apply it again. Good. So we have a fully repaired tractor. Uh, we'll need some fuel in the future and a bit of a clean. But what do you think? The John Deere 6910S, it's here to stay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, See you again very soon. Bye for now.